Hey guys, so this is going to be my throughout the years video. Um, this is going to be the second video in the series. This one is for my first grade year, which would be, I started first grade a little bit early. I was about five and a half. Most people are six when they start first grade, I guess. But anyway, it was my first year in a public school. It was um, my first year of elementary school, of course, and I hadn't gone to kindergarten there. At my previous school, we only had one break per day. So I remember on my first day of first grade, um, it was recess time. And I, like I said, didn't know that there was going to be two breaks. So I took my little rainbow bright lunchbox. It was bright yellow and had like rainbow bright and her pony on the front. And I walked over to the lunch area because they had shown us where that was earlier in the day. And there were no other kids there. I was the only kid in the lunchroom, and I thought it was lunchtime. And I was really confused. I didn't know where everybody had gone. Um, and like a teacher's aide found me a little bit later, and I think I was probably crying. And she said something along the lines of, you poor thing, it's not lunchtime. And she explained how it worked that at, you know, traditional schools you get a break at like 10 o'clock for 15 minutes or half an hour or whatever, and then you get a lunch break like two and a half hours later or whenever it was. And I remember on my first day of first grade thinking, it's okay, you only have to do this for 12 years. And even now, that sticks with me, the fact that I thought that as a five and a half year old, and the fact that it's probably still like one of the most true thoughts I've ever had. <sighs> that's, that's just how it is, I guess. Um, something that is very exciting that happened just before I began first grade, um, during that summer my sister Froggy was born, and I remember in first grade we had to keep a journal, and I remember most of my journal entries were about my brand new baby sister, and I got to help name her, um, Michelle was one of the names on the list, and... It wasn't for sure, and she was the only one that wasn't, like, named right away. And I came to see my mom at the hospital, and I said, I think it should be Michelle. And that's what they went with, so I always felt very proud, because not only did I give her her real name, but I also gave her the nickname Froggy, which is a story for another day. Um, let's see. So in my first grade year... Oh, do you guys want to see a picture of what I looked like when I was in first grade? I actually had the foresight to grab one. I don't know if it's going to show up because of the glare. This is my sister Lauren right here, the blonde. I'm the one with the bangs and the pigtails. But yeah, I don't know if that's, I don't know. But there's, there's me and Lauren when we were little. I was in first grade there. That's what I looked like. Um... So one day in first grade, I was staying home from school. I was pretending to be sick. I was fine. I just didn't feel like going. And my mom had, you know, me and Karen and Lauren and Michelle Froggy. And she just, it, she was too busy to, you know, make me go if I didn't want to go because then she could just deal with stuff at the house. So sitting there, Karen and I are playing with this jump rope. And I think we were playing like bad guy and cop and... We tied the jump rope to each of our ankles, and I was sitting there for a little while, and I completely forgot there was a rope tied to me. So I got up to, like, go walk somewhere, and the rope went tight, and I fell forward onto this couch that had, like, a wooden beam across the bottom of it, and I hit both of my wrists. And I remember laying on the couch on my wrists, like, on my stomach, with, like, my wrists under me, my arms under me, saying, I'm fine, I'm fine, it doesn't hurt, it doesn't hurt. My mom and my grandmother insisted that I go to the hospital, and they took me, and I said my right arm hurt, so they took x-rays of my right arm. And it, <clears throat> they said it was fractured, so they put a cast just up to right here. It wasn't a full cast, it was just the little one on my right arm. And then a week later, I started complaining that my left arm hurt too. And keep in mind, I'm left-handed, so I'm kind of surprised that it wasn't bothering me sooner. Because we went back to the hospital, since I said it hurt so badly. And it turns out that it was fractured too. I'm assuming I fractured both of them at the same time, um, the day that I did fall, because my parents didn't hit me or any. I mean, you know, when I was really naughty and really little once in a while, but nothing that could be construed as child abuse, just the normal stuff, I guess. Um, but I certainly didn't, you know, get hurt twice. I just tripped the one time. I'm extraordinarily clumsy, which you guys probably already know. Um, but sure enough, my left wrist was broken too, so I ended up with casts on both my arms. I only had to wear them for like three or four weeks, I think. I don't even think it was six weeks. Um, I remember I was eating a Big Mac with my casts on both my arms, 
and a piece of lettuce got down into the cast, like in there, and I spent like the whole week trying to chip it away. And then I went back to the doctor's for a checkup, and just when I had gotten it, because it was plaster cast, just when I had gotten it to where I could actually take it off, I just wanted to get the lettuce out. The doctor saw me and said, your cast is breaking, and they proceeded to wrap fiberglass over the plaster cast. They wouldn't let me explain that there was a piece of lettuce in there. I was horrified of myself the whole time, and I couldn't smell it or anything, but I just remember like being obsessed with the idea of this piece of lettuce, and I wouldn't eat Big Macs for like years after that because I was so grossed out. Um, and taking a bath was a pain because, of course, both of my arms had to stay out of the water. But thankfully, I was only about six years old, so I'm sure my mom didn't mind bathing me at that point. Um, and it was all over and done with pretty quickly. I was a brownie. I was in the Girl Scouts when I was in first grade. Um, it didn't last very long. I think I did Girl Scouts for a couple more years. But again, we'll get into how it ended when we get to that year. And otherwise, in first grade, I don't know, it was kind of weird being at this new school. It was a really big school. It was a public elementary school. I had always been at little private schools prior to that and had a few friends, even though I was kind of like always off in outer space and in my own world. I remember in first grade not liking to do my homework very much, and I would always like just stuff the papers into the cubby under the desk and like hope that they would go away. And it was really weird because... I was always painfully shy and very awkward, but in first grade I actually had two boyfriends. Um, the first one was named John, and I remember truly loving him, actually, as much as, you know, any six-year-old can love another. He came to my birthday party, and um, I remember he brought me a ring with a star on it, a little stuffed panda, and a teeny tiny silver whistle that actually blows and I actually still have that necklace, guys. Maybe I should turn off the camera for a second and get it to show it to you because it's kind of special. So hang on one second. Okay, guys, so it wasn't that hard to find. I have it. Um, I have it on this necklace with a lot of other stuff going on. It's got seven pendants on it because, you know, seven's supposed to be a lucky number. My favorite number is actually nine, but anyway. Um, this part here, let me hold it up so you guys can get a good look at it. That is the whistle, and it is really, really teeny tiny. I'm not going to blow it because it's really shrill, and my family will hate me forever if I do that because it's kind of late at night, but um, he gave that to me, and I just remember thinking that was the sweetest thing ever, and got that for my sixth birthday. I'm going to be 30 this year, so that makes it 24 years old. That's kind of crazy. Um, the second one was named Christopher, and he had an identical twin, who was in a different class, and I couldn't really tell them apart, and I remember he gave me a pencil that smelled like a Mr. Good bar, and that was pretty cool, but I don't think anything can compare when your first boyfriend gives you a star ring, a mini whistle, and a tiny teddy bear. I mean, I think that's like just the epitome of romance right there. It was so cute. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think of if anything else like really stands out from like my first grade year. I didn't really have a lot of friends. Um, there was this girl named Jessica, and I remember I used to, I had this skirt that had like three tiers to it, like three layers of like ruffle, and she was like enraptured by like flipping up the layers of ruffle without like actually flipping my skirt up all the way. And one day she was doing that in front of boys on the yard, and she flipped it up all the way, and all the boys saw my underwear. And when you're like five and a half or six, that is terrible. It's an awful thing to have happen. Then there was the time in first grade where I was sitting waiting for my turn at handball and I was wearing a dress, which this is what made me stop wearing dresses until just this year, actually. Um, sorry, they're shouting outside my room, lost the train of thought. Um, so yeah, sitting there in a dress waiting for my turn to play handball and the wind was so strong it blew my dress up over my head and blew me backwards off of this bench. <sighs> Why does elementary school involve people seeing your underwear so much? It's a travesty. Anyway guys, that's pretty much everything that comes to mind. That's all I've got as far as highlights of my first grade year. I hope you guys like this video and I think you guys should totally make video responses for me and leave them below or at least leave a comment and tell me some of the stuff that was major to you the year between five and a half, six and a half, or six years, six years of age, whatever it was because I want you guys to share this with me. It's really fun and I promise I'll watch them. Okay, thanks for watching me guys. I will see you later. Bye.